such a cool video for you today because we are testing out an old school classic car theory. Now, I've talked to a lot of folks, I've seen a lot of ads, and people tell me that back in the 1960s and 70s, Volkswagen Beetles were really good in the snow, especially compared to other cars of the time. So in this video, we're gonna take my 1971 Super Beetle out into the snow. We've got about three, four inches here at Tumbleweed Ranch, and we're gonna see how it performs. Now, Brendan, do you think that this is a myth, or do you think that this is going to be a reality? Come on over here so you're not in the sun. You know, I think uh, it's pretty lightweight, but a lot of the weight is sitting over those rear wheels to help kind of dig into the snow. So I think I think it'll do a lot better than people would think. Exactly. So that's why people tell me these are good. First of all, they've got rear engine design, rear wheel drive, which is the drive wheels all in the back and fairly narrow tires as well. So maybe they'll help cut in through the snow. But now the question is, it's about 25 degrees Fahrenheit outside. That's like negative four degrees Celsius. This car hasn't run in a couple weeks. Let's see if I can get it started. <laughs> Will it start? Little. This is actually a cool uh, example of one of the advantages of the air-cooled engine. The Volkswagen Beetle was designed for pre-war Germany, right? And one of the reasons they went with air cooling is um, because in the winter time, a lot of cars didn't run on coolant, they ran on water and water, um, Water-cooled engines would freeze back in the day, unless we had oh, heated yeah. the garage. Makes so, sense. no worry about that here. All right, are you ready? I'm ready. Come on, let Got battery power. Smelling a little gassy. Well, part of the issue is this is a mechanical fuel pump. Yeah. So we gotta fill that carburetor up with gas. Oh, he wants to. There it is. Fire right up. All right, look at that. So it took a few cranks, but we got gas in the car, and now we can back her up with fire and snow. Sweet. Now, of course, snow performance is largely about the tires, and this Volkswagen is running on a set of radial all season. This is a new tire, it's in really nice shape, but of course, it's not a true snow tire. But it is MS rated as an all season would be. Now, you could probably get a snow tire for this, but I don't drive this car in the winter. It's just for the sake of this video. Oh, right, Brendan. <laughs> These old Volkswagens are known for their terrible heaters, and back in the day, people would carry ice scrapers on the inside to scrape the ice. Wait, yours has a heater? Uh, it did at one point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure it's doing much now, okay. but we, we got this kind of steep and snowy hill here and first we're going to try in the tracks of another vehicle and then we'll try it um, in fresh tracks. Actually though, look at that! Making it right up. That's really amazing! So we were just out here doing a video with your old Volvo 240, which is an old school front engine rear wheel drive car, yep. also on all season tires and it really struggled. It did. But look yeah, at you this. had to get a lot of momentum, but this you just kind of creeped right up the hill, no problem. That's pretty awesome. Are your yeah. tires even spinning? I don't think so. Another yeah. advantage to the Volkswagen, of course, is um, it doesn't have a lot of power. So <laughs> you're not really <laughs> going to be spinning tires that much. Here, let's do fresh tracks up the snow. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Here, come to the stop. Accelerate away. Oh, there we go. There's some spinning tires. Got but it's a, moving. Got a little bit of tire spin there. Try to minimize that as best we can. Well, look at that! Oh, wow, look at that! A classic that you can drive in the snow. That is pretty amazing. So that even is. up this fairly steep hill, I think because A, the car is so light, and B, the vast majority of the weight is over the rear end. Exactly. Wow, that that is such a difference between this and my old Volvo. Yeah. There, I mean, this has less power, skinnier tires, but that engine being in the rear really helps you plant it down. Let's see how it steers? Actually, it's got pretty good steering too. It does. A little bit of understeer when you really push it. And then I'm sure we can get it to oversteer here if we're patient enough. Oh yeah. World's slowest donuts. <laughs> Look at that. That's pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. So is this gonna be your winter car now, Tommy? <laughs> well, the thing about these is A, they're um, pretty horrific in an accident. Yeah. And um, B, uh, the heaters suck, and C, they rust out really, really quickly. So I'm gonna say probably not. But yeah. let's do one more test. I wanna get some speed going down that hill, and we'll do a braking test, okay? Okay. We'll see how it stops. But overall, 
I, I'm blown away. This thing is doing so well. I'm pretty amazed by that. Oh, we lost a GoPro. Alright, we'll go to the middle of the hill here. Yeah, once you get the wheels to stop spinning, that's when it does the best. Yeah. It's just creeping right along. So here, we'll stop. This is going to be hard. Stop in the middle of the hill. Let's see if we can get going from the middle of the hill. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, maybe I spoke too soon. No. Come on, bug. I'm not sure. I it's don't gonna, know. I'm not sure it's gonna do it. I don't think but so. But one thing we can try, which might be kind of a fun adventure, let's try that same hill climb, but backwards. <laughs> Reverse power. Why not? Yeah. All right. Let's do it. I'm not saying this is gonna be better, but here I'll stop at that same part of the hill. And we'll see if we can climb the. Oh, hill. you're gonna stop too, huh? Oh yeah. So it'll just be like a front wheel drive car then, going up the hill. Are you ready? Yeah. No, I'm not sure that was any better. I don't think that made a difference, Tommy. I think it's worse, actually. Okay, yeah. so the commenters are right. It's better going forward. Um, all right, last thing we got to do is we got to try the brakes. Climb the hill. Come on, a little bit of a flick. Yeah, that is, that is one thing, though. <laughs> When that back end starts to slide, <laughs> it's pretty unpredictable, right? It's going to be sliding wherever it wants to go, right? Yeah. Because kind of, of all kind that, of like an old Porsche. All that weight in the back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just keeps going. All right. Well, that was unproductive. But now we got to do our braking <laughs> test. So I got to get back up to the top of the hill. I'd love to see. So Brendan has a Baja bug. Yeah, it'd, it'd be cool to probably try to bring that out here, you know? I see think how so that too. Compares. That could be fun. It's It's got a bit more power and way bigger tires. So I'd be interested to see how that does compared to these tiny little tires. Like this might actually be better for all I know. It might be better. It's true. All right, come on, Volkswagen. The key is to actually slow down the spinning tires. Here, we'll try this little seat hook. Are you ready? Oh, wow, look at no that. problem. All right, we'll spin it around and do our braking test. Let off a little bit onto the throttle at full lock. Okay. Let it come around. Okay, ready? Build up some speed. I'm holding on. And then we'll do some threshold braking. Yeah, it nice. stops, but... Uh, uh, yeah. Was that you pumping the brakes? Or does this thing have analog brakes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not quite that advanced, Brendan. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well let's go ahead and park it up and close it up because yeah. overall I have to say I'm pretty darn impressed. Yeah, this thing did great. Bug. Now that was actually a huge amount of fun in the little Volkswagen. This is just a quick video. I wanted to see how the bug would do in the fresh snow and I'm happy to say it kind of rocked it. Yeah, if you have a classic bug and you're avoiding driving it in the snow because you're just afraid of it, I'd say get that thing out there. Maybe just Clean it off afterwards so it doesn't rust. Yeah, exactly. Get the yeah. salt off of it. Well, guys, let us know what you think in the comments section below. As always, this has been Tommy. And Brendan. We'll see you on the next TFO Classics video.